So welcome to our 11th Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use a progress bar control and what the progress bar control is it's basically like a, a loading bar basically so if you drag in a progress bar from the toolbox and just place it in your form stretch it out as far as you want and resize your form you can see it's basically like a loading bar so for that I'm going to change the text of my form to loading dot 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 and if you see at the moment if we run this you see nothing happens it's just an empty bar and inside of Visual Studio we can change the the starting value by just double by just clicking on the uh, progress bar and we can change the value this is a percentage so it's out of a hundred so if I set it to 100 or to 50 it goes halfway or if I set it to 100 it goes all the way and you see it has that kind of animation how it shoots up to the end so we can make like a fake loading screen with this so as I said this is a fake loading screen so it's not actually going to load your application so to make our loading screen we, j we need to use a timer so I just drag that in and change the progress bar value back to zero because that's where it starts loading and change the name of this timer to loading timer like that enabled set this to true and interval set this to 500 so every half a second so we're going to set it so every 500 milliseconds so half a second is going to go up 10 percent so if you double click on this uh, timer make some space in there and uh, we can do progress bar one dot spell that wrong progress bar one dot value equals progress bar one dot value plus ten so you're probably thinking progress bar one value equals progress bar one value obviously well yes obviously but what this is doing is you're basically saying set the progress bar one value to be what it already was plus 10 so if it was already 40 we're going to change it to 40 plus 10 which is 50 if we didn't do that we would get a whole load of errors but what we can also do is we can delete all of this and put plus equals so what it currently is plus 10 that's basically what this is I'm going to leave it like this because it's shorter. It's better to get into the habit of doing it this way. But I just put the long way so you can see what it means. So now if we run this, it loads. And this will take uh, 5 seconds. And you see, when it gets to 100, when it gets to 100%, we get this error. Value of 110 is not valid for value. And that's because it's out of 100 so 110 is outside of that 100 bounds so we need to set up what happens when it gets to 100 and we can do that using an if statement so do if progress progress bar 1 dot value equals 100 and don't forget that this if statement will be re repeated every half a second then and it should put the end if here then form to dot show so now I need to create form sh form 2 so add new item windows form form 2 and that error should be gone yep you see it's gone so now if we run this it loads for 5 seconds and then you see what the form 2 show but we still got that error and that's because the progress bar is still trying to go all the way up we haven't told it to stop so what we need to do underneath in this if statement is in the sequence we need to put a uh, timer what did we call the timer we called it loading timer so loading timer dot enabled equals false and what this will do is it will just stop stop the timer so it will also stop the progress bar 
So it goes all the way up. And notice how this form shows just before it gets to 100. I'm not too sure exactly why it does that, but that's what it does. And also notice how um, when, we, when that form opened, this loading bar is still there. So we need to close that. So after this, we can put uh, me dot hide. And that will just set form one to hide. So if we run that now, loads for five seconds. And then it hides and this one shows up. So that's how to make a progress bar in Visual Basic. And as I said, this is fake. It won't actually uh, it won't actually load up your game or your application. So it's not gonna make it false or anything. So basically if you you if you run this on a Windows 95 computer, it will take the same amount of time to load as it would on a brand new super fast gaming Windows 7 computer. So thank you for watching this tutorial, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe if you found this useful and I'll see you in the next tutorial.